Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I know you died for my sins and then rose again. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life. What are you doing here? Oh. I didn't see you there. Have you just walked in? Uh, I live here. Really? Do you live alone? And who is supervising you? The Reverend. And what exactly do you do for him? Just uh, cleaning the odd job here and there. I have a request. Uh, well, sorry, actually, the reference asked me Don't. to come and fit. Don't interrupt me again. Sorry. What's your name? Josephine. Josephine. Now, are you going to listen to me? Good. Now, join me as I sit. Of course. Question. How far did you travel, Josephine? I already told you I live here. Uh, yes, of course, just you were so desperate to leave, I thought you needed to get back somewhere. No, I just need to go get some food from the market. Well, not by hunting, I imagine. No. Good. You know, I've been hunting since I was a boy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it started when my mother left me in the house one night. Just a nine-year-old boy, completely on his own. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Well, that night two people came in through the door. We couldn't afford a lock, you see. So, while they were downstairs in the kitchen grabbing what little was left, I came through with father's rifle in hand. And at that moment, What's on my shelf? I've got to write here. But the other one got away. Have you guessed who it was yet? This was my mother, Josephine. My own mother had run off with another woman abandoning me and my father. But anyhow, the next day we went hunting. Followed the track, split into groups once others had joined, and then I found my mother stuck in a bear trap. 
She begged and begged for me to let her out, but I knew I couldn't. I was now the son of a witch, and I needed the village back on my side. So I shot her through the leg, and I brought her back to be burned. That must have been upsetting for you. No. No. Not upsetting at all, Josephine. You see, my mother was a very willful person. And she always wanted more and more and more. She was never to be contempt. Not by me, my father, or anything we had. You see, her purpose was just to have more. But let me tell you something. There isn't more. It's best just accept the world as it is and make all best efforts to avoid pain. <laughs> There's something about that funny to you? No, it's just... How can anyone avoid pain in a world like this? In every relationship, there's heartbreak. In every pregnancy, there's labour. With every goal, there's a chance failure might lie. So how can someone avoid it? By not being in a relationship. By not having children. By not believing in some goal of betterment. All someone needs to do is keep their expectations in check and look out for themselves only. It makes it quite pointless. Yeah, well, it worked for me. Washing my hands of my mother was the best thing I could have done. I could have placed hopes in keeping my relationship with her, but I saw my opportunity and I stuck her down for what she was. And now I've been accepted into the Kramer Company as a witch hunter. Really? Yes. You see, I come from a town that lays just past the forest. I was travelling to meet the Kramer Company. Have you heard of us? Oh. Tell me, what have you heard? They hunt witches. What else is there to know? You're not very talkative, are you, Josephine? I was raised to keep it to myself. Well, I think it's better for young girls to speak when spoken to, so please, tell me and indulge me. What have you heard about our exploits? A while ago, ten women were brutally tortured and burned with their children just because they wanted to meet. That would be correct, yes, but you meant to say witches and devil spawn, right? Not women and children. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry. And these weren't innocent meetings. In fact, it was something much more malevolent. No, I didn't get that sort of implications. Not from the stories I heard. Oh, well, whoever spoke to you was wrong. They're giving praise to some false idol, a dark form of the forest they called Bridget. Have you heard of this name before? I don't tend to associate myself with such things. Strange. I was under the impression books had been released to the public, helping them hunt like we do by knowing their idols and practices. Have you not read such a book? I can't read, sir. Good. If you were, you may find a paragraph in one of these stating something along the lines of an educated woman is a dangerous one due to their capacity to think more and question more. Is that what Kramer Company does? Find out if a woman can read and then find out if she's a witch? <laughs> no, no. No, not at all. I'm guessing you don't know what we do then. Well, right, it's quite a simple process. Various small parties of soldiers are sent out to towns or villages. Upon arrival, we have a look around, ask questions, and if we find even a hint of which, then we start interrogations. Interrogations? Yes, interrogations. You see, under law, we have to have absolute certainty whether or not someone is incoherent with a witch or not in order to perform an execution. So, we will spend a lot of our time trying to confirm this in any way possible without killing anyone. Your men hurt them pretty badly from what I hear. <laughs> yes. We could cut out their tongue rip off their toenails, torture them for days on end, and still they lie. You must make all that work seem pretty pointless. Sometimes people give in before then, or rat out others if they're innocent. 
There are plenty of other ways of telling if someone is a witch, though. You like to hear something, so you can be on the lookout. Well, mostly all of them are women, with rare exceptions, so we make sure to interrogate them all. Usually, and traditionally, they like to wear their hair quite long and wild. Some witches have dark patches of skin that can't burn, so we make sure to check for those. But what really gives us away, what really helps us seal the deal, are the demon spawn. Some are quite average looking and some have horns. But if we can find those changing, that can really help us flush out the mothers. They're protective, you see. They put all their hopes and dreams into these misshaped brats, and it is that which is their downfall. We just gather them up and start a fire, and everything, and I mean everything, is easy from there. Either a witch will come forward or a monster will burn. In fact, the soldiers had found so many changelings that they called in for an extra hand. Hence why I'm here. How do you know they're not just normal children? <laughs> Does that upset you? It's the law, isn't it? No, it's not a matter of law. I asked if it upset you. They can burn for all I get. Are you a mother by chance? What would make you say that? Well, your reactions to some of my stories, and I thought I saw some kind of cop back there. It's apples. Right. Mm. Apples. Mm. That reminds me, have you anything to eat or drink around here? Uh, yeah, I think I could find some food. <laughs> Good. Well? Go on. Of, of course. I'll be waiting here. You're right. Just apples. Hmm. Is that for me? Took you all. It's hard to find. It's okay, you say. Hmm. 
Thank you. Mm. Still warm. You should try. No, I don't think that's necessary. But I insist. I would rather the not. The Josephine. Take it. I didn't enjoy killing my mother. In fact, the very thought of it was horrifying. That was until something dawned on me. Do you know what that was? That there was no purpose to it all. To anything. Tell me, Josephine, have you ever felt the drive to pursue a relationship, pursue a goal, or just give your life to something more meaningful, only to be left disappointed and groveling in pain? I don't know. Why are you asking me all these questions? So you have felt that pain? So what if I have? Have you ever tried to rid of it? I think, um, I think that maybe I want that happiness. Maybe there is something for me without disappointment. Exactly. Most people are like that, but you can never seem to find anything fulfilling, can you? Maybe not. It reminds me of something my father said to me while my mother was burning. Marry and you'll regret it. Don't marry and you'll regret that. Laugh at the world's foolishness and you will regret it. Weep over it and you, you'll regret that as well. Hang yourself, you'll regret it. Don't hang yourself, you'll regret that as well. Whether or not you hang yourself or don't hang yourself, you will regret both. So do you agree then? Are our ideals pointless or not? I don't know. Well, I think I made my view quite clear. If you're not stupid, you'd look out for yourself to avoid that disappointment and heartbreak. My mother taught me to look out for others as well. Yeah, well, your mother isn't here, is she? Nor is mine, nor is anyone else's. She's not here encouraging you. She's not here giving you her guidance and she's definitely not here helping you with your children. I already told you I have no children. I use that as an example, Josephine. I just want you to realize that the only way to avoid being miserable is to expect to not be happy at all. I don't think you have to tell me that, especially right now. Right now has been a lot of recent. Why would that be then? I don't see why I have to tell you. Well, haven't you proven to be an unkind soul? I need to do some chores, are you gonna let me leave or not? Josephine, I have another question for you. Is it important? Greatly. Go on then.
told me. How did you hear about the burnings? I already told you when the locals said. They did, did they? But we massacred all the locals. <laughs> you see, upon arrival, after the burnings, we noticed that someone had set a witch free from their cage. Enraged, the officer blamed me for it. So, to win back his trust and prove him wrong, I gathered everyone up in the dead of night. Then I brought them to a church, not too dissimilar to this one, actually. And when no one came forward, I shot them. All of them. So tell me, how did you find out about the burnings? You haven't got an answer, have you? So, let me ask you an easier question. How on earth could you love a baby with a face like that? Because he's my baby boy. Grab the changing. We are going on a walk. What I'm about to do cannot be seen by God. Move. Turn back around, Josephine. Pick it up and kneel. Oh, shush. It's okay, Mummy's here. Alright then, what do you want me to do now? No, that is completely up to you, Josephine. However, where I'm standing, you only really have three options. You can either do nothing and I can shoot you and the creature, or... You can come back to the village with me. Where 30 men are there waiting with rifles and hot irons. Just for you. However, there is a third option where you can be set free. i kill you, right? <laughs> no. No, you won't get the chance. Stab the creature. But he's just a poor child. My I child! I don't care about that! I'm not going back empty hand just to be blamed for this incident. Look, it's either you, the creature, or both. He dies either way. Yes. Unless someone decides to pick it up and take care of it, but I doubt that. Very much. How has keeping that thing in your life resulted in any sort of prominence for you whatsoever? I just thought he'd bring meaning to my life. Meaning? Look where that's gotten you. I'm going to start counting down from ten. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four... Take me! Pardon? I said take me, damn it! 
I thought you were smarter than that. Come on. shouldn't have drunk all that milk. Why have you poisoned me and yourself for that matter for a child that you perceive as unholy? So he might have a better life. I wish you to hell. Sorry, I never named you. I should also say I'm sorry for bringing you into this hell, but yeah, again, that, that wasn't my choice. <coughs> the world might seem quite horrible when you're older, especially with you looking the way that you do. And you will know great suffering at some, if not most, points. And it'll make all this pain and disappointment seem quite meaningless, but if you can hear me, which I doubt, I want you to hear this. Your life is far, far from being meaningless. As long as you pursue some something you love. Now I don't care what that is. Even if everyone else says it's crazy. It could be a book, a religion, a hobby, or even a family. I don't care as long as you're willing to hurt for it because you will my darling and for that I'm sorry. there was ever something I didn't regret. If there was ever something I put all my faith into without meaning or logic. It would 